Hello, my name is Dr. Alta Sadi, and I'm a member of the Physicians for Human Rights Asylum Network. I attended two tours of immigration detention centers in Texas. I think what was most disheartening about the tours was seeing how the neglect of individuals' dignity and humanity affected every aspect of their lives in the immigration detention centers. So there were cases of medical neglect, medical delays, lack of medical and mental health personnel, and then on top of that, experiences of dehumanization that affected everything from being given dirty clothes that spread vaginal and urinary infections to um, poor quality uh, or inadequate food to having toilets where there were fungus growing um, and just the toilets not being cleaned for days to simply being harassed or threatened or yelled at by officers on a daily basis. And I imagine fleeing your home, traveling thousands of miles from a life-threatening situation, um, not being able to be reunited with your children or family, uh, facing trauma along the way like sexual assault or theft, and then seeking your legal right um, to seek asylum, and then being put into an immigration detention center, sometimes for prolonged period of times for years. Uh, it's really disheartening um, to see that. I think that when we lose sight of the human being, of the individual, and there's no system that's set up for accountability, we leave individuals vulnerable to mistreatment, uh, to neglect, to human rights abuses. And I think the conditions in immigration detention are really unacceptable. And I am bothered by this as a physician, as a human being. And as a physician, I believe that every individual has a right to care, even individuals in immigration detention centers. And I know that I can uh, hold uh, my country as well as my country's institutions uh, to human rights standards.